Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's variety spotlight, I'm very excited to be talking about our first tomato variety. We're gonna be talking about the Berkeley tie-dye pink from Wild Boar Farms. There's a guy named Brad Gates who actually breeds and develops different tomato varieties. Uh, one very famous one of his is called Brad's Atomic Grape. So Brad Gates is the guy that made that. He made this variety we're talking about today and several others, so you can check him out. Let's take a closer look at these beautiful tomatoes. So the tomatoes themselves are a beautiful striped greenish reddish pink color, more pronounced on the bottom there. A smallish fruit is probably about four ounces. I picked one off of here the other day which was a little bit larger. Got a couple of them ripening here. Another one back there. That one's looking real good. So the plant itself uh, has been really productive, growing very well. One of our first tomatoes of the season came off of this plant. You see it growing down there. Have it growing up here. You can hear those summer cicadas chirping. I tried my best to keep it a single stem, you know, where you trim off all of the suckers on the side, but I didn't fully succeed, so it goes off this way with some tomatoes that way, and then also branches off this way. And there's a couple more over here, still green. That's a nice, good size one. So the way that you tell they're ripe is a little tricky because they're they still actually have some green in them when they're ripe, but um, they soften up a bunch. You can kind of give it a little squeeze, and that's real soft. I'd say. I'd say these four tomatoes are all ready to go. That one down there has got some little spots on it. Not sure what that is, but that's not a problem at all. That's still a nice looking tomato. Soft and ready to pick. You can also feel up here closer. This is this part of the tomato is referred to as the shoulders. So the shoulders still stay a little green, but once they're soft up there, then that tomato is ready. I think this is one that we're going to pick today. We're actually going to have some BLTs for lunch, I believe. Uh, but I want you to... I'm going to do a taste test of this because the, the real joy of these tomatoes, besides growing them and the looks of them, of course, but eating them. Man, a homegrown tomato. There is just nothing like it. So anyway, real happy with this variety. Berkeley tie-dye pink. Great one to grow. It's an indeterminate variety, so it just will keep on growing until this, the frost kills it off or a virus. But it's nice and healthy, so we think we're gonna get a lot of tomatoes here. All right, let's harvest a couple of these tomatoes here. I'm right, gonna go for this one in the back. All right, let's see how this looks on the inside. Beautiful. All right, let's have a taste here. The way that I like to cut these tomatoes, instead of cutting them into wedges, I like to cut a thick slice. Like that, nice thick slice. And cut it in half quarters. A little bit of sea salt. Here we go. Mm. 
Wow, so juicy. Real rich, dark, complex tomato flavor. Some other tomatoes are just have a little bit more mild, um, it's kind of a mild flavor, but this is like real intense. These darker tomatoes tend to have that flavor. Mmm, so good. I wish you could taste this. Nothing beats a homegrown tomato, man. These are awesome, awesome tomato. All right, my wife's gonna make some BLTs, so I'm gonna save the rest of that for this, the rest of this for that, and I have one more tomato we'll slice up and put on there. And there's the BLT. Fresh Berkeley tie-dye tomatoes, some homegrown romaine lettuce, and some nice bacon. Oh yeah. All right guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna go inside and enjoy my lunch. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.